Hi, I'm Teresa Cackert, and this is a safety tip brought to you by the Certified Horsemanship Association. This is our registered American Quarter Horse, this Shiner's Tough, and we're here at the West Texas A&M University, and we wanted to talk to you today about how to safely turn your horse out into a pasture. Now one of the important things to know is you want to make sure your horse is well socialized and already used to the horses that they'll be living in the pasture with. It's very important if you were turning your horse out into a new environment that they had the opportunity to get to know the other horses and the safety of a fence between them so that there was less, less scuffles and the horse would run less risk of being injured. But this horse lives in this pasture regularly, so there are a couple of things we do want to think about before we turn him out. We always want to scan the environment and make sure everything is safe. As we approach the gate, we want to be sure that there are no other horses clustered or crowded around the gate that might crowd him and make him want to step into my space and crowd me once he's turned out. But our environment looks nice and safe out here. The horses are happily having their lunch. And I think we can turn out this Shiner's Tough and, and he can go out there and hang out with his buddies and take a break. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring him around towards the gate with me. Again, checking to make sure there's nothing in the way. As if you have a horse that tends to crowd the gate as you open it up, you might even ask them to take a step back or two to give you the extra space you need to open and close the gate safely. In an ideal situation, we would always open the gate away from our horse so that as the horse walks through the gate, if something did startle him, he would have less of an opportunity to get hung up in the gate. So this is fabulous. I'm gonna open up the gate, bring this Shiner's Tough along with me. As I come in, I'm keeping a close eye on all the horses in the pasture. I'm gonna bring him around. I'm also gonna close the gate. Now this is the opportunity where you would wanna be the most cautious because you are in a little bit of a corner here. So again, I'm gonna check. Sometimes you can just place a foot on the gate to hold it where you need it to be. Give myself a little extra room. Remember, anytime you reach through a fence, you do wanna be careful to be quick and expedient about it because if your arms are stuck through the pipes, that's when you could hurt yourself. So you wanna do that quickly. I'm gonna bring this Shiner's Tough away from the gate. Again, making sure I have plenty of room. There are no other horses coming in. I'm gonna turn him back towards the gate and look at how much space I have here. So there's not gonna be an issue with me getting trapped in the corner and squished if his best buddy runs up and decides he wants to say hello. So here I'm just gonna untie his lead rope, or his halter. Sometimes you can even put the lead rope over the neck if you need to, to have a little opportunity to hold them longer. So you can do that, I'm gonna untie his halter. I'd like for him to stick with me a little bit. Train your horses all the time to not run off and go willy-nilly, having to gallop through the pasture. And then I can just let everything slip off. So see how I still have the ability to hold him here as he starts to go? I can let the lead rope slip, step away, and there he goes. Right back out with his buddies so he can enjoy the rest of his day after a lovely ride that we had today. If you do have a, a opportunity to keep your horse in a pasture, it's a great way to give you the more time to ride your horse instead of spending time cleaning up after them. And this has also been a safety tip brought to you by the Certified Horsemanship Association.